Now, solar energy is a very serious topic. The energy is always a matter of crisis, and solar energy is good news there, right? Because sooner or later, actually sooner, within a few years, it will completely take over because solar energy becomes cheaper and cheaper. Every, every other source of energy becomes more and more expensive. Um, so solar energy is going to win, that's for sure. But let's have, let's have some fun with solar energy too. What role will solar energy play, not in 10 years, not in 100 years, but eventually? Longer term, like 100,000 years. Nobody really knows what humanity is going to be up to then, but I'm suspecting that solar energy will play a role. Namely, the thing is, it might be possible to use solar energy, or more precisely to use the sun, to turn our Earth into a spaceship. And what I mean by that is, um, normally if we want to build a spaceship, we think we have to build some huge machine, some huge rocket, and we have to supply it with energy somehow, and it will be very difficult and very inconvenient. We have to leave everything behind. We live in this spaceship for a long time, many generations perhaps, all very dangerous, all very uncomfortable. But maybe we can turn Earth itself into a spaceship. So the idea is this. Imagine we install, let's say, on the moon for security reasons, because this is going to be dangerous what I'm speaking about now. So on the moon, we might be able to install some um, sort of neutrino cannon um, that will interfere with the burning of fuel in the sun. At the moment we can't do that. We can do it in a very, very small scale, but not on a big scale. Now, if we could do that, and it's totally speculative, I realize that, but give humanity a few hundred thousand years, and then we'll see, then we could perhaps arrange that the sun will burn a little bit more brightly, a little bit more hotter on one side than on the other side, which means that it burns unevenly, which means that the pressure that goes out from the sun because of its burning is uneven, which means that the sun will start moving and take us and everything else with it. It's not fast, but in the longer term, this might be a way for us to move around. You see, our sun is about four, five, no, it's about five or six billion years old. And it has about another five billion years of fuel. Longer term, we may have to find, or we will have to find, a new sun if Earth is to survive. So maybe there is a way to move around and find a new sun by you know, steering our sun a little bit and then it will take um, us um, with it. Or, alternatively, we could have this beam perhaps even pointed at a thermometer star that we see, affect how it's burning, and then have it come to us, or have it go away from us. I'm just saying, solar energy in the very long term <laughs> for opportunities that uh, one might not normally think of right away. Well, of course, this is all assuming that humanity is going to survive um, millions of years, perhaps even billions of years. And if we do, of course, we would look totally different. Because the way that we look now, we've only looked for like a million years or so, or even less. And so, um, clearly, in a few million years, humanity would look very differently. Nobody knows. But the laws of nature are going to be the same. And the sun is going to be the same, just a bit down on fuel. <laughs>